G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. If you haven't been here before, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on in Perth here in Western Australia, the Wajik people of the Noongar Nation. Today, I'm doing an unboxing. I've been waiting for these boots a very long time. Uh, they're Chelsea boots coming in from Los Angeles, uh, Christian Daniel boots. Let's take a look. So these took quite a while to come to me. Um, they got stuck into a, a postal delivery center in Perth, coming over from overseas. They got stuck for over a week and I had to uh, put an inquiry and make a complaint before they, somebody actually sort of forwarded them to my address. Um, but they're here now. Box from Christian Daniel. Let me just put this knife away. Um, it's a really nice box. Let me try and get it out um, without actually showing you the boots first. There you go. So Christian Daniel box, nice and fresh. Nice gold on black. Let's see what they look like. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, from San Diego, US. Welcome to the Christian Daniel family. This pair of boots was specially handmade for you by our artisan's hands with over 30 years of experience using the best materials. And not bad reading it upside down. We hope that you wear these boots with pride and uh, create your own story while connecting with the world around you, Christian Daniel. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, San Diego, US, which is where Christian Daniel is based. Uh, I don't know if you can see that Leon, Mexico, where they're actually made. So lovely tissue paper covering boots in, the, uh, in their boot bags. Nicely badged CD tissue papers. Uh, there's a card. As an initial supporter of our Kickstarter campaign, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Turning this vision into a reality would not be possible without your support. Really, really nice. Um, Christian Daniel is a new bootmaker started by uh, Christian Ramos. Uh, I think Daniel is his middle name as it is his father's name. So using the name Christian Daniel is a real family connection. So not only do they come in tissue paper, not only do they come in a boot bag, they're also wrapped in plastic. Oh, I've never seen this before. Gosh, this is careful handling. Now they come from the plastic. That's absolutely lovely packaging. They smell gorgeous, really. The uh, toe shape is quite round, which I like uh, in a Chelsea boot. It means it's really comfortable. A leather pull strap at the back. Um, from the pictures, I thought this was textile, but it's not. Inside, I'm not sure if you can see, there's a Christian Daniel badge. Dr. Soul half soles and a Dr. Soul um, a block heel in a lovely black leather. Uh, they also do this in a maple tan color, which is lovely. That comes with a, um, I think a Dr. Sole day night style sole. I don't have too many of these. I think I only have one pair of boots with this Dr. Sole half sole super grip. So I wanted these, um, these soles and so I chose the ones in black, but you know, that's a really nice, nicely framed welted boot. So let's take a look at the other one. Out of the boot bag. Oops. Lift this out. Take the plastic off. Gosh, this is so well packaged, isn't it? No damage in the mail here. And I 
again, it smells wonderful. So, um, let me just show you these. So, in profile, it's a really lovely shape. That last is a combination of sleek and rounded and roomy. So, that's a really interesting last, um, I think. Uh, I'll tell you a bit more about Christian Daniel a bit later, but um, I've waited quite a while for these boots. I think the Kickstarter campaign started in mid-2022, uh, and they did have quite a lot of issues regarding supply chains. Uh, the Dr. Soul Souls coming from uh, China, I'm not sure if it's Taiwan or China, um, the Republic, uh, got held up. So the whole process got held up. The uppers were done, uh, the bottoming was done, but they couldn't put the soles on. And finally it's arrived and it actually looks good. Uh, it feels good, the leather looks brilliant. Uh, I'm gonna put them on my feet and we'll take a look. Okay, so this is uh, the Fernando boot from Christian Daniel Boots. Um, I have worn them last night, went for a little walk, but I thought I'd do a uh, try on here just so you can see them on foot. So they, they slipped in very easily, the Chelsea boots, quite snug. Uh, the last is um, a, a combination of slim <laughs> and roomy. Um, it's quite wide at the ball of the foot and around the toe, but it is snug across the instep, which means the ball of the foot, <laughs> although it's wide, um, feels slim and snug. To me, I have a, a sort of a bone here at the ball that sticks out on most boots, and I can feel it in this one. This will need a bit of um, a stretch when I'm breaking in. I mean, this doesn't feel like it needs a lot of break in, but this is definitely a, a sort of sore point here when I'm walking around too much, and that's the part that needs to be stretched during break in. Uh, the sole. Um, in terms of its flexibility, feels really quite good. It's not a sort of solid, stiff sole like you're walking on wood until you break it in. Um, the heel is quite a chunky, solid heel. It's, it's wide. It's quite a wide heel. It's not sort of tapered or anything. And I do find that when I'm walking, um, look, you can see, you can see that the, the heel to ball of foot is very in a very straight line but I do feel when I'm walking there's a bit of a clunk clunk as opposed to a roll and that might just be the breaking in um, I find some boots do that some boots you, you sort of roll as you walk and in other boots like these and and a few others that I've found is you tend to have a clunk clunk as you're walking <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm explaining that right um, this one is named the Fernando I understand after a friend of Christians who uh, passed away, but really had a life-changing impact on him. So it's really nice that he remembers his father's name in his own middle name in Christian Daniel. And it's very nice that he remembers people who mean a lot to him. Uh, it's made in Leon, Mexico, although uh, Christian Daniel is based in San Diego in California, US. Uh, but these are made in Leon in Mexico. Uh, the leather, I believe, comes from La Farc Tannery. Uh, which is the same tannery that uh, Thursday Boots use. And in fact, when you, when you have a really close look at this leather, it looks shiny in this light, but it's very similar to Thursday's matte black uh, diplomat leather, which isn't really matte. It's more of a, a, a sort of sheen. Uh, not shiny, just a little bit of a sheen. Uh, the leather smells like Thursday's as well, so definitely from La Farc. Uh, very soft, very supple. That's why I think it doesn't really need a lot of breaking in. Um, the last, in terms of fit and feel, I think is a little generous for me in the heel. Uh, I have skinny heels and skinny ankles, so um, in Chelsea boots in particular, I do need them to grip me around the back. Um, I, I think these will be fine because the instep and the actual shaft holds my foot in. But I do feel, and maybe it will alleviate a little bit once the uh, uh, leather midsole um, really breaks in and flexes, it, it should alleviate the bit of heel slip that I feel now as I'm walking along. I don't feel 
I don't feel like they're about to fall off. They're not that loose. But there is just a little bit of heel lift as I'm flexing my foot. You know, that flex point at the ball of the foot isn't really flexing just yet, despite the fact that I said earlier that it's not a stiff um, midsole. All right, so um, I might take a closer look at the boots now. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the, the boot design and, and uh, makeup and construction. Uh, I won't go through the whole construction. I'll wait until uh, I do my, my sort of full review in about three months' time, and we can go into the construction then. I'll have a bit more time to research how it's done and uh, talk to Christian about, about the construction. But as you can clearly see, it's a Chelsea boot, uh, characterized by no laces and uh, the two goring panels on either side, a pull-up. Uh, a leather pull-up uh, tab in the back, which is very useful because it's the shaft is nice and nice and tight around your your ankle. Uh, in terms of uh, construction, it has three leather pieces: uh, the the vamp, which is one piece up to there, on there, and then two pieces that make up the the back uh, uh, third of the boot. That sort of um, joint there and then there. Uh, the, it's a Goodyear welt and it's a, it's a proper storm welt. Um, by that I mean that this welt, if you cut a cross section, uh, has a sort of flat bit, a lump and a flat bit. And the lump is what you see coming up here against the side of the boot, as opposed to a split reverse welt where the, the welt is split and then it's sort of pushed up against the boot. Uh, outside of the welt sewn through, to the sole, to the outsole, through the midsole and the outsole, and the inside of the boot uh, sewn to the to the insole. So uh, water resistant, um, easier to resole. Uh, the leather, as I said, is from Lafarc Tannery, and you can see. I know there's um, a bit of shine because of the overhead lighting, but it's really a sheen. It's a sort of matte black, as defined by Thursday. I really like this leather. Uh, it's soft, it's supple, um, it has rolled and it has started to crease. I, I walked about, oh, I would have said probably about a mile last night in these, um, just to see how they felt on the foot. And they, they have started to roll, as you can see, um, but there's no sort of major creasing and there's no sort of loosening of the grain on top. It is full grain. I can see hair holes, uh, a bit of fat streaks musculature, that sort of thing uh, on it. The sole construction, apart from this natural colored welt, there's a natural colored leather midsole. Um, so that's fantastic. Leather heel stack, and then this um, half uh, Dr. Sole Super Grip half sole, which is sewn on and then tacked with brass tacks, uh, and a Dr. Sole uh, heel topper as well. Quite a, quite a thick, chunky one, as you can see. Uh, Construction-wise, I, I think it's put, been put together really well. I've seen pictures of how they've been put together in uh, the, uh, uh, the Instagram post that Christian puts on when he was making them. Uh, what they do is, and, and this often happens with quality boots, they wrap the boot in cling wrap, plastic wrap. Then they do the bits they need to do on the sole and sand and stitch and so on. And then they, they pull the uh, cling wrap off. A little bit of cling wrap was still caught up in it, and I just picked it up with a with a toothpick, basically. I uh, pulled it out. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, the stitching all looks pretty good. I think there might be maybe one or two, like, okay, slightly missed stitches in the, in the welt. Um, maybe this one is a little bit more apparent. Again, you know, what the hell, it's a, it's a hand-lasted, handmade boot, right? Um, yeah, I, I guess QC is not the best, not 100%. Um, and, you know, like if you look at the welt, there is, a, there is a definite welt joint. It's not sort of perfect. But, you know, if you're picky, you'll see it. But if you're not, you won't. You, if you look at the boot globally, let me take a step back. If you look at the boot globally, oh gosh, that is a beautiful boot. So, you know, it's a bit churlish to talk about the, the welts not meeting perfectly, I think. This is not a dress boot. Um, you'd wear this on any casual occasion and you'd kick around in it and so on. So I'm, I'm not particularly fussed about that. Construction-wise, uh, structural-wise, I think it's really good. It's very difficult to 
uh, secure the goring on a Chelsea boot without it feeling like it might start to come loose. This has been done well. There's been enough of a, a, a stitching through it. It's leather lined, fully leather lined on the inside. So it makes it nice and soft and comfortable. Uh, there is a badged, I don't know if you can see Christian Daniel there. Can you see that, Christian Daniel? There is a badged uh, leather sock liner, half liner that comes up to the uh, ball of the foot just under the arch. Arch support in these I find pretty good. It's quite comfortable. I, I think partly because despite the, the width of this um, uh, area and the, and the waist here in the, in the sole, if you look at this part here, it does tuck in and then come out. And I think the leather itself forms a bit of a support uh, for your arch, apart from, of course, the steel shank that's in there. Cork foot bed, so it feels comfortable with multier feet. Um, so QC wise, not precise, but it's good. It's not going to fall apart, you know? Um, yeah, I, I, I really like the, the design of it. I, I think the construction is really good. Um, the materials feel good to me. Uh, they're good enough for lots of other bootmakers, and Lafarque is a, is a really well-known certified tannery, so you know, don't look down on the fact that it's in Mexico. Uh, you know, I like it. So just before we finish, uh, and I'll, when I do the full review, you'll get the full history. I'll have researched it properly. But Christian Daniel was started by Christian Daniel Ramos in, I think, 2020. Um, he started off by making a few prototype models, both of Chelsea boots and of lace-up boots. Um, it didn't get until uh, the middle of 2022 when he started his Kickstarter campaign uh, to produce the Fernando. And he uh, produced two models during the Kickstarter campaign. This one in black uh, from the Farc Tannery with a Dr. Soul half sole, And another one in a tan color, which I think is called maple. Uh, and that one has, I believe, a Dr. Soul studded day-night like soul. Um, I've had plenty of day-night. And at the time, I only had one pair of boots with this Dr. Soul. So I chose this one um, really to get the feel of that soul. Uh, I'm not, I'm not you know, particularly fond of black boots. They're, they're not one of my favorites. But I do like black boots. They, they do have a, 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 a role in, in outfits and what I wear. Uh, and for casual outfits, and particularly now as I'm in grey and you can't see my, my jeans, but they're black, these go really well. Uh, Christian Daniel Ramos himself, I think, had a difficult early life uh, with some addictions that he uh, alludes to and has uh, publicly talked about in uh, some of his interviews and uh, uh, in some of his postings. But what I really admire about him is he pulled through. He decided what his wife was, uh, what his life was worth, and he decided to make something of that worth. And you know that I'm a big supporter of small boot brands. The Red Wings of the world, the Allen Edmonds, the Aldens, they will survive. These guys need our support. They built boots, not as a business, but with a passion. And I think people like Christian, deserve our support of boot lovers, you know, not, not just it would be nice to, they deserve it because they are the tradition of boot making. Uh, and so I fully support it. The Kickstarter campaign um, started in July 2022 and closed in August 2022. Um, and this cost me 360 US dollars to pledge for. Uh, not quite sure what they'll go for when they, he starts releasing them. Uh, but that's a fair price, you know. It, it's it's a well-made boot. It's got good material. It's a great last. Um, I'm going to have to break this little little bit in where where the, the the bone on the ball of my foot sticks into it and is a little bit cramped. But otherwise, it's a great last. Um, it's it's tight on the instep, tight on the shaft, so it keeps the fit on the Chelsea very hard to do. Um, unfortunately, after his Kickstarter campaign closed, um, Christian had a lot of problems with his supply chain coming out of Dr. Seoul in, I think Dr. Seoul's based in the Republic of China, which is Taiwan, uh, but still recovering from COVID issues and COVID shipping, um, he got these soles late, so they were produced late, and they've only just come out now. 
Uh, the maple, I think, started shipping last month, and the black started shipping this month. And this is one of the first ones. Highly recommend this brand. Uh, I think there will be a lace-up model coming out soon, so have a look at that. Uh, go, get across to his website. I'll put a link in the uh, description below. N not an affiliate. I'm just a, a supporter. Uh, go take a look. And of course, let us not forget, uh, while you're here, if you like this video, click on the like button and please click on the subscribe button because then I'll be able to bring you uh, through the uh, reminders on YouTube, other boot reviews and uh, other boot things. So until then, take care and I'll see you soon.